Hey guys, welcome back to another review on the channel. Today I'll be reviewing Bed Them in the Big Top, which is the 10th episode of Scooby Doo Are You. If you're wondering if I've skipped the 9th episode, don't worry, I haven't. I've already reviewed it, Backstage Rage. Uh, go check it out, it's already up in the channel. It should be under the Scooby Doo Are You playlist if you haven't seen it, so go check that out. But, anyways, let's get straight into the review. <laughs> So the episode opens up as we see a mysterious ghost clown looking down at a mysterious uh, circus and then we see um, two people go past on a bike, a small guy and a big strong man um, and their bike snaps in half and they crash right in front of the gang. Um, the uh, strong man is called Samson the strong man and the little guy is called Max the midget uh, and they used to work at that circus. But they tell the gang that it's spooked and jinxed and they leave the circus um, and the gang decide to go check it out and they drive past the ghost clown and the ghost clown gives a little evil chuckle. Um, now down at the big top um, they speak to the owner of the circus and he says that the ghost clown's been scaring away people for quite a while um, and tells the gang that the ghost clown is the reason why uh, the whole circus is deserted. Um, while this is happening, Scooby spots a mysterious figure behind a tent um, wall and goes to investigate um, and gets hypnotised by the ghost clown. Uh, now the gang decide to leave because they're scared of the ghost clown and uh, the owner of the circus says that they should all leave. Um, when they're driving back on the road, they realise that they left Scooby behind, so they go back to look for him. They split up. Shaggy and, Scooby, uh, Shaggy and Velma look inside um, the big top, um, and Daphne and Fred go off to look somewhere else. Um, now, when they go in, when Sh uh, Shaggy and Velma go into the tent, they spot Scooby immediately doing the high wire act. Um, and they grab a trampoline and they try and wake him out of a trance because Velma realises he's in a trance. Uh, she climbs up to uh, give him a helping hand and we see the ghost clown to the side with 
uh, the hypnotizing coin and he's like controlling him and then he um wakes Scooby up um right in the middle of the net which is quite quite mean of him um and Scooby eventually does fall into the trampoline um and Velma and Shaggy um have uh, rescued him um now then we cut to Daphne and Fred um and they're looking for a couple of costume tents they spot the ghost clown going into the costume tents they go there um Fred looks inside a trunk but the ghost clown slams him in and locks the door um Daphne's looking around for Fred um but uh the ghost clown then hypnotizes her with the same coin that hypnotized Scooby earlier um and um tells her that she's going to do a unicycle act now right when Shaggy, Velma and Scooby are about to leave uh, their tent uh, to look uh, for um, Daphne and Fred um, they spot Daphne in a costume doing the unicycle act um, and Shaggy and Scooby quickly grab a net and they try and uh, capture her and top her because she's in a trance like Scooby but uh, unfortunately she gets away um, and yeah a couple of hijinks occur until um, they go they leave the big top and go into the animal tent um, and Scooby tells an elephant to squirt water and Daphne wake, waking her up from her trance um, and they go back to the costume tent they free Freddy um, and yeah, the, um, they start discussing about, uh, the ghost clown's clearly up to something, and, well, he keeps on hypnotising them, um, so Shaggy and Scooby gonna act as bait to lure him out, um, and, um, they offer, uh, Daphne offers Shaggy a Shaggy snack, um, and, uh, yeah, they go looking for the clown, and again, like before, um, they walk past, um, uh, one of the tents and um, the ghost clown um, walks past um, and Shaggy and Scooby decide to go around the tent to try and uh, you know corner him um, but instead the ghost clown hypnotizes Shaggy to do um, the lion taming act um, now when this is happening Scooby then goes into the uh, animal tent and spots <laughs> Um, Shaggy, um, doing, um, the lion taming net, he's got a whip and a chair, um, and basically teasing the lion, and you can see the ghost clown again to the side, controlling Shaggy, um, and then he's about to blow a whistle to wake him up from his trance, but Scooby snatches the whistle, um, right as he's about to blow it, and then, um, tries to wake up Shaggy, but then eventually blows the whistle, and, um, Scooby opens the net and Shaggy runs away um, and Scooby closes the door just in time um, to stop the lion um, then the ghost clown chases after Shaggy and Scooby back towards Freddy's trap which is inside an animal cage um, now they do trap the ghost clown in there but then a little while after the ghost clown laughs from um, behind one of the other carriages and they look back inside and they see the ghost clown is gone um but Shaggy and Scooby have a really good idea they go um into the big top um and in there is the ghost clown he sticks out a the coin again to hypnotize them um but right as he starts um Shaggy and Scooby uh put a mirror um to reflect and um the Ghost Clown's just basically talking to himself, basically controlling himself, and um, he acts like a chimpanzee. Um, so Shaggy and Scooby uh, get him on a lead and bring him back to the rest of the gang. Uh, now when they unmask him, it turns out to be um, uh, a hypnotist um, who got who's trying to get revenge on the circus because they caught him stealing and sent him to prison. Um, and he was able to trick the gang with an inflatable ghost clown balloon, um, and that's the balloon that was chasing after Shaggy and Scooby and got, they trapped it, but, uh, he deflated it and reflated it to trick them, uh, into thinking that he was either walking past or inside the cage. <laughs> Look 
Shaggy and Scooby brought in on a leash. They got him! But what's going on? Simple. He hypnotized himself. <laughs> I know that man. He's Harry the Hypnotist. He had an act with us, but we caught him stealing and sent him to prison. Looks like he wanted to get revenge. As a ghost clown, he knew he could ruin your circus. He sure had us fooled with this balloon copy of the ghost clown. You see, he inflated it with this gas cartridge, and it disappeared when he deflated it. Well, it was great work, kids. And then, uh, a little later on, he invites them... Uh, the owner of the circus invites them to the, uh, you know, the, the, the performance. Um, and it's uh, Samson the Strongman again, and he lifts up a big gun barrel with Shaggy and Scooby inside, ending the episode off. So I give this episode a 9 out of 10. I thought this episode was very, very good. I thought the ghost clown was really, really creepy. I thought the circus setting was also very, very spooky. I thought that the characters were good they utilized them well um but seeming it was a circus i feel like they should have introduced a few more characters um but that's all right uh the fact that he was hypnotizing you know shaggy uh daphne and scooby i uh, was really really cool to see um i really like shaggy's act and i guess scooby's and daphne's as well um and yeah i thought there were some pretty cool scenes in this one as well um and I like the atmosphere of the episode, you know, no one's really around. I thought that made uh, an abandoned circus a great setting. So I hope you enjoyed uh, the review. Stay tuned for my next episode review um, next week where I'll be reviewing two more episodes of Scooby-Doo, Where Are You? Hero Sandwich!